Hello everybody, Graham out with the Political Vigilante here. We just had a uh, Black Lives Matter protest in Echo Park, Los Angeles, and you spoke and told your story. So could you tell my audience about how you went from, I believe, a school teacher to becoming homeless and how, and how the system helped create that? The system helped create it because they have a belief system about black people and people of uh, marginalized communities. I would like anyone else, I had it at a job and I was living in a home before I became ill. I became ill and I was unable to pay the bills because I had to grapple with the medic medicine, the treatment that I needed to take care of myself. And in the end, I ended out on the streets um, based on because healthcare is too damn high and it's ridiculous you have to choose healthcare, your life or rent. And that is exactly what happened with me. So. Um, the long story short, I am like many of the 66,000 people that have health issues, a disability. Um, I'm disabled um, because I've had other injuries and um, complications due to those injuries. And yet the society still believes that people like to be out here and they don't want help. Mm -hmm. And the system here is broken in a well that we believe like we have lot, uh, let the NIMBYs control our, our shelters, are, are where we go, our housing, NIMBY is a... not in my backyard individual. Oh, okay. They get together with the police, business improvement districts, and neighborhood councils to craft legislation to penalize and punch down on vulnerable people. And because one of the things they want to do is displace them, and secondly, they want to make sure that they are display, uh, uh, have no political will to fight back against the injustices that they, uh, they endure. So what are some ways people could, could get involved or help fight this? One, get in business improvement district and neighborhood councils behind. Get in police officers, union commission meetings and behinds. Videotape uh, police interactions with anybody, housed or unhoused. They are not your friend. Uh, the, the, the nonsensical belief that police officers, there's a few bad apples and things of like that, that's a nonsense. We're not talking about individuals, we're talking about a whole system. Those good cops that you always revere will be silent when there's injustice. They will not come to your aid, and they did not come to George Floyd's aid when he was being murdered before your eyes. So the idea of that, we need to demystify police officers and we need to uh, get them off this pedestal. Um, they don't need any more money. They have $3.1 billion. They don't need any more $6 million or billion or any other million. We need to take that money from them, demystify them, and allow that money to go in communities that can really use it. And what's your name? My name is Theo Henderson, and I have a podcast called We the Unhoused. Check out Theo's podcast, We The Unhoused. Theo, thank you so much for taking time with us today, man. No problem. Thank you for inviting me. You got thank it, man. You. All right. Thank See? You. That's what we've been talking about. He had a, he was a teacher. He had a job. And health issues. How many times have I talked about that on this show? So, yeah, Trump's bad. like to get Trump. But remember now, it's Democrats, corporate Democrats, and Republicans who are blocking Medicare for all. So if we had free health care in this country, that man wouldn't have been homeless. Do you see that? So it's the whole system is broken. If we had free health care, we wouldn't have all these homeless people. If we had better schools, we wouldn't have homeless and crime and all this stuff. So that's why Los Angeles spends $3.1 billion on its police. 54% of the budget. 54% of the budget in Los Angeles. And I bet you whatever city you live in, it's probably in that percentage. It's probably at least half. It should be like 5 10%. It shouldn't be 40 50 60%. So thanks for watching the show. We're bringing the truth out here in Echo Park. And you know who's not out here interviewing that guy? None of the local news media were here covering it. They'll probably show some shots from overhead. Oh, a protest in Echo Park. But he's not being interviewed by... KCAL, not by CBS, NBC. Nobody's interviewing him. And his story needs to be told. And the NIMBYs, right? Not in my backyard. A lot of those people are, uh, you know, neoliberals. Neoliberals, are, you know, they got an Obama sticker on their Prius, but they don't want a homeless shelter in their yard. Shave your knuckles for justice. Hey, everybody. Like, share, and subscribe hit the bell notification button and the subscribe button, even if you've done it before because they're unsubscribing many of you every day. Watch the ads all the way through. If you click skip ad, I don't get paid. Also, support us at patreon.com slash Graham Elwood or rockfin.com slash Graham Elwood. Rockfin.com is a blockchain cryptocurrency platform. All my videos are on Rockfin ad free.
Thanks for watching.